We're going to wedge some clay to uh, prepare it for making something. Uh, and so if you don't wedge, then you end up with little air bubbles inside the clay. And then when you go to heat it in the kiln to make it turn into something that is a bone, a bisque, bisque fired, um, then the little air bubbles will heat up faster than the air outside of it and make the clay uh, crack or explode. So what we wanna do is get rid of all that. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your hand and cup it and you wanna put your ball in there and you kinda of just do this to make it into a little ball, okay? It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. If I go flat, I'm gonna end up with a hamburger patty. So I'm gonna keep cupping my hands like this. And I roughly have a ball now. So now I'm gonna apply some pressure to work out some of those bubbles. So I'm gonna go push, push, and then I turn. Push, push, turn. Push, push, turn. Now it's starting to get a little bit longer, so I'm going to put it on that short end. Push, push, turn. 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 So about 10 push, push, and turns. And then I'm going to take what's called a wire tool. And it's, it's a wire. All you have to do is you kind of want to run your finger along there to get some of those little pieces off. And then you take it and you slice downward like that and you're going to open it up and there are no air bubbles in there because I don't see any little holes. If I were to see an air bubble, then I would just push it back again and I would push, push, turn, push, push, turn, push, push, turn, push, push, turn, push, push, turn. 